Welcome to the Dawn Stars podcast. This is the pilot recorded in the on the 7th of December 2014. I'm Ash. I'll be your host today. Uh, and shouts our... out to my nigga Marf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were supposedly at home. <laughs> Supposedly we should have Marvin, yeah, but... Yeah, we're out here. <laughs> Wait, uh, say no, 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 no. Try, try testing, one more test, how the sound, how it sounds. Pitch it sounds great. <laughs> Pitch okay. more, Pitch more. more. <laughs> it sounds great. And shout out to David too. <laughs> shout out to David. Okay, out to now, David. now that we've poured out 40s for our absent friends, right. um, <laughs> we got the ones we got here are uh, Dylan. Say hi, Dylan. Hi. Dylan Amirio. He, hi, hi. How's it going? Yeah, yeah. He uh, plays stuff for Logic Loss. Stuff. Logic. Yeah. Loss. Logic Loss. Logic. <laughs> What's the project name again? Logic Loss. Logic Loss. Okay. <laughs> um, and we have Andreas Mesta. Uh, whoop, whoop. <laughs> DJ Andres Busto, hey, Green of Hello. Life, he does that. Hello. Um, lying around somewhere, we have Garbani Priyatuaja. <laughs> He's on the guitar, playing right now. Wrong. That's but... him. That's him. And somewhere playing the bass unplugged is Disja. Hey, Disja. Hi. Hey. Okay. All right. So uh, this is the podcast, and for the pilot today, we're gonna discuss our favorite releases of 2014. Who wants to start? Andra. 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 Obviously, other singer-songwriters have released stuff in 2014, yeah. but what makes her different? Well, yeah, uh, I, uh, I really like her songwriting, I really like the lyrics too, like, it's so moving, you know. Okay, okay. It's okay. very moving and it's very, you know, um, it's a punch in the gut or <laughs> something <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, the, the, all these strong melodies, all these, right, right. and Which lyric voice, got you, uh, like, the punchiest, I suppose? Okay, uh, my favorite song from it is called I Know. Okay, tell me what I know. And it's, uh, well, I'm sorry, it's so hard for me to just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just bring say it up like just that. Just like that, yeah, but, it's okay. but like, uh, yeah, other, other than that, Cold Place Ghost Stories. Okay. And uh, The Hotelier's Home Like No Place Is There. Okay, let's let's kind of talk mm. about Ghost Stories for a bit. Uh, Dylan, have you ever listened to the record? Ghost Stories, yeah. Ghost Stories, yeah. It's actually one of the best Cold Play Albums I've ever, I've ever heard. That's, that's nice. yeah, yeah. That's, I right. think that too. But I've seen like reviews that say like it's like almost like the most boring, especially after the Technicolor. Yeah, okay. because uh, Coldplay's been Coldplay's been known for its grandiose presentation. Yeah, of its music, especially with the with the Miles Lotto thing. Miles Lotto thing was was like was like IMAX. Yeah, it was. It was like very IMX proportions, you know? Mm. And coming down to ghost stories, it was very compressed. It was all it was all emotion. It was uh, muted almost. It was, it was muted. In a good way. Yeah, in, in a good way. Miles Lotto was um yeah. and built I, was built for for the masses, but ghost stories is a, is a more personal thing. I really I really like especially I really like this track called Midnight. Okay. Uh, the one people say is about Bonnie Ver. Bonnie The producer is this guy called uh, John Hopkins. Nice. John Hopkins, which he he's one of my favorite electronic um, artists. Um, he's a composer. Okay. A electronic composer, and uh, it really helped uh, bring the the um, dark vibe together. Right, right, right. With, 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 with him. Yeah. yeah, I guess you can't stay Technicolor forever. Okay. I guess. Like, um, I see like Coldplay going through these phases. Mm. Like they started out like with parachutes, mm. which was kind of dark. Yeah. And more emo- it started out very emotional. It started out very emotional, and then it went to a rush of blood to the head, where they started going for the big choruses and yeah. stuff. You know, in my place with the delayed guitar. Yeah, I think. And then yeah, I, more I in the agree with the like you said, more personal and more yeah more. Uh, I think, and I think it's also like the Coldplay album that I think works really well as a as an album, right? Yeah, I mean, it does. Like. Everything's uh, blending together. Yeah. Well, I'm not saying uh, all Coldplay uh, albums don't blend together. I mean, right. they, they do their own. They do their own way. But this is. But this one is more profoundly bound by by the right. emotion of Chris Martin. Chris yeah, Martin. Yeah, Chris he, Martin. 
He just split with his girlfriend. Uh, with, yeah. With his wife. Wife. With his wife. And uh, he's gone through a lot of shit. Um, you can actually hear that in, 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 in the, the record. Yeah, it's uh, one of the most per uh, parachutes in itself is really is actually a really good record. Yeah. It's one of the one of the better in, uh, rock records, <laughs> pop rock records of yeah. uh, of the recent times, and. Because because like people keep on people keep on Cover. looking to the past for inspiration. Uh, looking for the past. Okay, the past is better than the, the past is better than the present. Uh, for parachutes, it is the ultimate past, and they finally got back to that. Yeah. Right, 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 right. So it's like uh, because we're kind of. <laughs> The perils of a celebrity relationship, we know what's going on there, yeah, I guess. Yeah. So, uh, maybe like the emotional rawness kind of contributed Rawn. to the realness trip. A lot of the, <laughs> the realness. A lot of, lot of, lot of, of the best uh, releases of 2014 is are all emo are emotional, raw. Kan, kan. Emotional and raw. Yes. Yeah. Huh? Play yang dulu apa? Album namanya? Parachutes. Parachutes? Nah, we have Parachutes, Arrested sebelum, Blood of the Head. Sebelum ini. X and Y. Uh, so, Milo Zelota? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Kayak, gue ngerasa uh, mereka tuh pertama itu attempt pertama mereka mau nyoba gabungin musik mereka sama EDM gitu kan. Right. Yeah. 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 It was um, Banu saying that it's an English podcast. So. Yeah. Banu was saying that uh, Coldplay's Milo Zelota was the first attempt of them trying to blend like their thing with EDM. Yeah. With the now. Yeah. yeah. And they and they finally did it in this album. Oh yeah, so yeah. it's like an evolution of that. Yeah, yeah. So they got the means in Milo Zelota, but they finally got the subject matter mm. in Ghost Stories. That's nice. Um, the thing that you're saying about emotional records. Yeah, so most 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 of the most of the uh, best releases of 2014 are are actually stripped down emotional records. Oh, yeah. Like Sasha, like Sharon Van Etten. Mm. Uh, like she she wasn't really armed with a lot, unlabber. Uh, Besides the guitar and her voice, no, and her works, uh, mm, and it's more piano uh, yeah, heavy. Yeah, 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 piano heavy, and yeah. it's it's stripped down. Guys, the singer songwriter won this year, you know, especially okay. uh, one of my favorite one of my favorite albums is uh, you know, of 2014 is the the much hyped uh, Sun Kill Moon album, Benji. Okay. Uh, it's only him and an acoustic guitar and some drums, okay. but he managed to like with with his words and his storytelling, he he managed to. Uh, Really touch people's hearts with with the way the way it, his songs are very personal. I mean, it's, it's all about his family, his friends who who were dead or yeah. deceased or. It's it's so raw, like a raw, diary yeah. outpouring, like just talking actually. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, he's just talking. Yeah, he's just talking, but with this music that really fits the yeah. mood of. What Do he's you think like that. but. Uh, with him putting out that record, okay, and the recent kind of controversy with like the, oh, no, no, no. It the war on drugs could suck my yeah, the, There's but, that thing, but you know, let's just you know stick with the yeah, yeah. music. <laughs> no, <laughs> actually, what I was my question uh, was like, does it a affect your kind of sort of judgment? Uh, judgment. Yeah, your judgment of that record now because. Uh, you, you know, they say you should separate the artist from the art, yeah, but right. sometimes that's kind of impossible yeah, when yeah, you right. put go on record and say stupid shit like that. Yeah, absolutely not. Because, like, uh, I, I agree, like, the, the artist should be separate from the art, you know? Yeah. Uh, if an artist is a, is a dick, it doesn't mean that their music is not beautiful. I Worthwhile. Mean, I mean, yeah, or, I mean, look at Prince, because he's a dick to his fans. <laughs> but yeah, he is. Yeah, he's a dick to his fans, but he still makes great music. I see, I see. And, um,. With now, I guess uh, what what made what the controversy helped for Sun Kill Mo is like uh, it got him more coverage a bit. I see. Yeah, you can you can look at yeah, it got him more coverage a bit, anyway. and people either hate him or love him again, and people are starting to okay, okay, I, I don't like this guy, he's a, he's, a, he's an ass, uh, but his record's still good. Okay. There's a lot of people I I, hear, I, I see on the internet guys okay, that are still saying that, you know, and Benji's still like considered one of the one of the better releases of. Of this year, and I, and I, and I, and I agree. Okay. Yeah. Um, speaking of like more like really raw records, um, you were saying about the hotelier. Yeah. Um, what's the name of the record again? It's, it's like Home grammatically like weird. No place is there. Home like no place is there. Yeah. I was the first time I listened to that was in Banu's car. Mm. He had like a copy of it in his car, and I like really felt 
it was like his voice is so powerful yeah like it just really kind of overwhelms in a good way the arrangement uh and the guitars are so crashing and i really kind of appreciated that that kind of music is still kind of being made Mm-hmm. In 2014, yeah. um, and there's more sp- appreciation for that kind of music. Yes, yeah. a lot of people are saying it's the revival for that kind of quote unquote emo, emo music, stuff. Right? Yeah, but I don't know. Well, some people know that. I mean, there's a revival. It's always been going on. And, it's, and, yeah. yeah, and but but like, yeah, the Hotelier. I really like. Uh, it's just an album of solid songs in there. I think. Yeah, and then like. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just an outburst of emotion, which maybe th- this year somehow really connects with me, and right, then right, right. that's why I really feel that album. Um, I'm not really, uh, I'm not yeah. really up to like speed with the hotelier. Is this their first full length? It's second actually. Is the second? Uh, the first one was a Bandcamp release or something like that. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. super yeah. indie stuff. I guess, yeah. But uh, they exploded. Suddenly, yeah. suddenly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw their like one of their like, footage of like their like I don't want to say a basement show, YMCA show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they was like really popping off. Yeah. The stage like that. Do you think like that music can translate to like a bigger stage? Because all of, I'm I'm just being super ignorant right now. But all the YouTube footage I'm looking at these emo bands, they're either house shows, or they're in YMCA YMCA shows, basement shows, but. Uh, do you think this music can translate well to a slightly bigger stage? What do you mean, like Warped Tour? Nah, because um, I'm, I come from the school of thought that every band should be big if they're good. Yeah. But some people might say that they want to stay a certain level or whatever. But do you think the hotelier can make that jump up, or are they gonna be? Um, I sing with honestly, opinions, just opinions. Yeah, I can. See, I don't know. I really can't. Yeah, the, thing, the, thing, the thing with the indie scene is that. Uh, indie bands they tend to st- want to stick to the to the underground. Okay. Uh, a lot of them are very very idealistic, and once somebody somebody crosses over, it's success for them. But sometimes the the perception within the scene, whether it uh, it could be pretty oh this guy's a sellout or this guy's a more pop not not true to its roots again. Yeah. That there's always that kind of problem. You know, there's always that kind of like cred problem uh, because a lot of the scenes that exist in this world, they okay. they rely on cred. You know. Okay. Really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I guess it has its own advantage, you could say. Yeah, it has its own advantage. Kaya, uh, you know, one of the reason why hoteliers accelerate in their apa? the the hypeness. The hypeness, yeah. Yeah, it's such a dirty yeah. word, but whatever. Probably because of the alternative press magazine. Ah, yeah. yeah alternative yeah. press <laughs> and Pitchfork. Uh, mm. Pitchfork covered that. Pitchfork covered the hotel. Covered yeah. the hotel. Oh, okay. And they were huge. And they became huge. And Pitchfork coverage is gold. Yeah, I <laughs> guess. For, for all bands. With that. For all bands. All right, all right. So we're getting to the uh, the prescribed time limit for a new podcast. Said Marvin. Marvin said <laughs> fifteen minutes is enough. Okay. Um, so let's just recap with. Uh, I, I think you've said your favorite releases already. We'll get yeah, back the, to you. The, the, we'll top, the top, yeah, yeah, I've said my top three, but yeah, I've only heard some Kim Moon from sure, Dylan. Sure, sure, so sure. Dylan, yes, um, so other, let's just recap. What's yours again? Sharon Van Etten? Sharon Van Etten's Are We There, uh, Coldplay's Ghost Stories, and, and The Hotelier's Home Like No Place to Stay. Well, Dylan? Uh, I'm still figuring out a top three, though. But it's okay. It doesn't have to be in order. It doesn't have to be in order. What comes to mind? And don't hold this against Dylan, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> don't hold this against Dylan. Well, one thing uh, obvious is Flying Lotus is your death. Nice. Uh, Sun Moon's Benji. Right. That's, 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 that's And there's the rec- uh, there's a record by a band called United, United Nations. Okay. Which is called the Next Four Years. It's Jeff Rickley of Thursday. Oh. And he kills. <laughs> he, he kills. He kills a lot. He, he, he kills, kills a lot. A lot. That album. I'm really interested in Flying Lotus is your dead. Maybe we'll do an episode somewhere yeah. down the line. Banu, any new releases you're really digging? I have a guilty pleasure album. Though. What? Cloud Nothing. Uh, no! <laughs> what was it? <laughs> <the> guilty pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I like okay, the first, <laughs> first release. Okay, go over the Oh man. man. This shit is kicking. Okay, okay. okay. Throughout the time. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, this yet? Like, oh, sorry. No, uh, sorry. This song, I'm not part of me from that album, is one of my favorite songs of. 2014. 2014. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> catch, catch. This year? Catch Any? Song. No. What? Just what's your favorite record mm. of 2014? Doesn't have to be your favorite record. Just something that impresses you. Don't hold this against this. Flying Lotus. 
Okay. And um, mungkin grouper. Grouper? Grouper. Uh-huh. How do you spell that? G L G R O U P E R. P E R. Oh, grouper. grouper. Just like grouper. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, what's their album name? Rinse. Rinse. Okay. But me personally, animals as leaders. <laughs> that really kind of touched my heart. Animals as leaders. New Weezer. I really appreciated it. Cool. Uh, everything will be alright in the end. There's an episode of that somewhere down the line, probably. And I guess I'm just gonna share those two for uh, now. So that's the end of the pilot for the Don Stars podcast. Let's hope this can be like a regular thing. Yay! Yeah. And that's it. Say bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Bye. Bye. Sayonara. <laughs>